right, buckos, let me tell you, man, the gaming industry is nothing but controversies, okay? <laughs> if you thought, if you thought the Nadia controversy was bad, well, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for another one, okay? We're gonna be getting right into the story, get them dogs saying, woof, woof, drop a thumbs up, because we are hearing about DK Oldies. For the longest amount of time, I didn't know much about it, but review DK Oldies USA. Bruh has been covering this very extensively. Roll it, drop a thumbs up. He's done, let's go. So DK Oldies sent me a replacement console for the non-refurbished PS3 they sent me a few weeks ago. And in this video, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna take an in-depth look at it oh, and dang. see if they actually refurbished anything this time. I'll link the last video down below, but just for a quick recap, they sent me a filthy uh, PS3 console backwards compatible. Oh and they God. also sent me a third party controller, which is not compatible with PS2 games, which is pretty bad for a backwards compatible PS3. So we're gonna see what they sent me this time. And before okay, I open it- How much did it cost? It should be no more than 10 bucks, bro. No more Bruh. than 10 bucks. I can go to China right now. I can get the entire package for for two pennies y'all up i wanted to show you the email we sent them uh kind of asking for a, for a new console and so here it is it said hi i ordered a ps3 from you guys last month and it was supposed to be refurbished i've attached some photos of this ps3 and would like to return this console for one that is actually refurbished this time um yeah so we were a little bit sassy but i mean you guys saw the last console it was disgusting I now this email Ow. is amazing there's a key thing here that dkld said you remember the stickers i showed on my console and i'm like oh that must be some kind of joke right there's no way yeah. that dkld could say that First off, in the States now, it's illegal to have those stickers, okay? This void, void warranty of stickers remove thing. Can't do that in the States. Other countries, you can in the States. Guys, 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 guys. This would not be happening if PlayStation, if Sony just put the PS3 backwards compatibility on PS5. Drop a thumbs up if you're... Uh, drop a thumbs up if you're agreeing. You can't. But I thought those stickers were a joke. I'm like, you're not Sony. You're not Nintendo. You're not Microsoft. What... Really? And you're not even going inside of these things. Let's see the emails that Jacob Barr received. Watch this. And so here's the response they sent back. They said, hello, thanks for reaching out to me. Sorry to hear you received your console in that condition. And a bunch of few sentences about how to return it, whatever. And then here's the funny part. They said, for future reference, opening up a console does void the warranty, but I talked to my department lead and we'll, we'll be sending out a replacement. Uh, I just created a replacement order for another PlayStation 3, PS3 fat. 80 gigabytes, bro. Like in this day and age, you stop the cab, bro. In this day and age, you cannot say the word fat, okay? You got, you got, bumbo god by that, bro. And we'll work with you here. So they're saying they're only sending out a replacement because it's just like a special case. Like uh, usually, we don't allow people to open up their console and see that it hasn't been refurbished, but we'll, we'll work with you here this time. So just. I don't have any words for that, just kind of funny, but let's go ahead and open this console up. And now, as you can see, the label clearly is from DK Oldies. Some people Damn. don't believe me for some reason, but uh, let's go ahead yeah. and open it up now. All right, you're slide. lying, you're wrong. wrong, but you're manipulating. Just open. So let that sink in. The stickers that they have, I've opened up all the consoles, I wish I kept Damn. one now. They have a DKLD sticker, and if you peel it, it keeps, it's like the void warranty stickers, where it keeps kind of like a watermark on where you pulled the sticker off. They actually say, oh, you pulled the sticker off, it voids the warranty. You know why they do that, right? They're not actually refurbishing the consoles. They jack up the prices because they're saying they refurbish the consoles. I have another one coming from DKLDs, an N64, okay? Which I almost spent $300 on. It actually went under $300 thanks what? to Honey for uh, finding coupons. I'm not sponsored. No, $300? Bruh. You can, you can go to China right now and you can get it for 0. 0.000.1 penny, y'all. Bruh. No caps, no caps. I buy them here, but they actually found coupons. It was awesome. Um, so here's what they're doing. They're not refurbishing the consoles. They're putting out misinformation, literally videos saying they're refurbishing the consoles. And what they're doing with those stickers is, is it's like, hey, you don't really have to refurbish the consoles. We can pretend that we did with these stickers so, pe so people won't go inside of them and see we did crap work. Mm -hmm. And then what they're doing to cover their asses even more is giving a year warranty. Like, so it's like, all right, we're not, we have a huge profit margin because we're jacking up the prices, lying to people, saying that we are refurbishing the consoles. And we're de incentivizing them from looking inside because if they do, we'll say their war warranty is void. Oh Damn. my God. Damn. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh. Yo, fire those nukes. Fire those nukes, man. Guys, this is just genius level. This is 500 IQ, man. This is 500 IQ. So you, you, they, they are selling you refurbished consoles. They're telling you that, yeah, they fixed everything. They got new thermal paste, this and that. Once you get the console, it's going to be like brand new. Okay. You're going to be, uh, hit, uh, you're going to get hit in the G spot. You're going to love it. You're going to shake and it, it's going to be like brand new refurbished, but brand new. But, but the second you try to investigate it, right? The second you try to look into it, the second you tear that sucker uh, off uh, the, the war war warranty void, uh, and the second you open the console to actually examine the goods, then all of a sudden, it's your problem. We, we cannot return it, man. That is... Uh... Tell me factually that this company is not a scam. Please try to white knight for them now. I know there's like two people out of every 3,000 that are. 
How could you defend They're that? Always... That is unbelievable. Oh, gee, I wonder why I make the, the thing with uh, the thing with the internet and with the society is that there's always one guy that that sticks up for everything. He just want to be, like, you know what? Like, you, you, you're just a hater. You know, you're just a hater. You're just a hater. Even though everybody's saying, even though there is all the proof in the world that is pointing us in the direction that they are in the wrong, wrong. but there will there will be one guy that needs his high and, and he needs to protect them. What are you getting? Are you getting money from them? Are you are you are you a shill? Uh, if you're a shill and you're getting money from them, that's kind of understandable, but if if you're not i mean damn man like there is so much evidence bruh like can a brother get a fat ps3 that's working for like two pennies it shouldn't even be a thing we should have had the backwards compatibility day one with ps5 you know how much of uh, 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 like an amazing thing it would it would have been in another video today anyway let's go yeah, i'm gonna show you a couple more parts here not the full video let's go all right so here's the console and honestly at first glance i'm not sure it looks any better than the last one it's extremely damn. scratched up you get some pretty big scratches on the top one. yeah i have a similar sony pony 3 like that bro there another similar right there, similar right there there's just tons of scuffs on it so the outside of the console is scuffed up but it's a it's an old fat playstation 3 the bird could fart on it from a mile away and it would have scuffs on it that i hate shiny plastic okay for some reason in the mid 2000s everyone thought like shiny plastic was smooth and elegant and luscious but it's not like uh, sm uh smash a like button for lara trying to get the grip on that you know what i'm saying yeah. shiny plastic should not be used on anything because it just gets scuffed so even if the outside Price. is rough whatever especially with the playstation 3 uh, it, 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 it doesn't really matter honestly like who cares about shiny plastic eh, it doesn't matter as long as the specs are good as long as the hardware is good as long as you can actually play the console as long as it works that's all that matters man i got my sony pony 5 it's standing vertically under my desk i haven't been playing that much i've been playing hogwarts legacy whenever i get free time but other than that bro like who cares the the specs the console needs to work that's all that matters if it works it works okay it works it, it works. is what it is but if the inside was in good condition you could deal with that anyway you know who cares what the outside if they put fresh thermal paste to make sure the caps aren't swollen if they're cleaning the laser or replacing the lasers inside it could look it could have this oh guys guys i think laura just died uh oh no okay two weeks earlier my bad my bad scratches out but do you think they refurbished the inside of it? Now, this is the part I'm skipping. You tried PS2 games, PS3 games. The, the system did work. Yo, uh, w uh, tell me the name of that game. If you can predict that name of the game, you will get nothing. Bruh. But but I want to know how many of you are, like, OGs. Cause, okay. Um, so, he does what I do. It's smart, because if you would open up the console before you tried it, DKLDs could always fall back on, well, you broke it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. always have to do that first because you gotta record if you it, don't, they're gonna try to put the blame on you. They're already saying that we're jealous of their success, so jealous. we have to cover every corner. You're just jealous. Let's continue. So I have the top cover off now, and oh, it does look bad. a bit dusty in here. It's not like super dusty, but it does tell me that they probably did not open this up and clean it out because like, why would there still be so much surface dust right here? All right, time for the big reveal here. Oh, here damn. Oh, ooh, okay. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay. Let me, up. Let, me, let me unclip this real quick. Yeah, they definitely did not open this up because it's still... I mean, obviously this is very nitpicky about being dusty, but the fact is that we're trying to investigate if they're actually opening consoles up and cleaning them out and like, yeah. is that dusty? That means they're not. So there was like, when you Damn. take off the top of the PS3, gotcha, like bitch. the, the out exterior <laughs> casing inside, there was... They're not even cleaning the console. They're just like, by the looks of it, guys, like... They're just... Uh, I'm in Canada, right? Like, we got Village uh, de Valor, you see, that's like a second-hand store. By the looks of it, people that drop and sell their stuff in their in secondhand stores, they're just going there dead ass, picking those consoles up, buying them dirt cheap, and then just doubling down, tripling down, sometimes even quadrupling down the price and selling you as brand new, as refurbished. Yeah, but it's refurbished, it's refurbished. Get mama, okay? Dust. That's already a not a good sign, especially when you know a customer wants to get a replacement. Um, I may have made a mistake before where I said he had sent it back to be refurbished. They just sent out a replacement. You would think that every, you, especially when you know it's a YouTuber who's been getting a bunch of views on this. Too. He gets the same amount of views mm. as I do on these videos, okay? Wouldn't you want to make sure that you dot cross the, no, you dot the I's and cross the T's. I almost said dot the T's and cross the I's. You blew it. Wouldn't you want to make sure that you're like, look, we're going to do, do good this time. No. No, now let's see if they change the thermal paste. I would still forgive them with the Ow. condition of this console, even with the dust on the lid, if they change the thermal paste. <laughs> let's check it out, guys. <laughs> let's ah. check it out, let's check it out. Here we go, I'm hitting the play button. All right, now let's pull this piece off, Ow. and there we go. Ow. So now we can see our thermal paste, good stuff. It's just basically all gone. Like, <laughs> oh man.
You see? It, that, that stuff has been there since, what, maybe this console was hey, named in 2007? Maybe hey, yo, 08? What the that's the same old, that, that got so much, uh, th there was not even any, any drip, I didn't even see any drip of that thermal paste. It, probably 2006, that is the original thermal paste, that, that stuff is way past expired, that's why there was just lukewarm air, he was talking about coming out of the console when he was playing Bruh. GTA 5 on it, because the, the thermal paste makes it so he could transfer, transfer from the processor to the heatsink, in a more efficient manner because that's what helps it actually transfer the heat Damn, so it can man. be pumped out of your computer they really did the fat ps3 dirty my guy computer or your console or whatever the case may be this thermal paste wasn't doing it because it's so old and crusty it wasn't able to actually transfer the heat to the heat sink mm. Mm. especially with these older ps3s dk oldies really and you're gonna lie to this guy and tell him that you actually refurbished it what a Damn. joke man there's dust and dirt stuck around the thermal paste that's how old oh god that's how old it is. Oh I wonder if, you didn't check. I wonder if they you see that in the corner there, there's a CMOS battery. Bumbaka! To keep all I wonder if they replaced that, probably not. Of course not. Why am I even uh, asking? Why am I even asking? Why would they they guys, 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 check this video out. So this just happened, okay? Some of the b b craziest thing happened to Nadia, the biggest cheater in gaming industry. Or click the video on the left because they are actually removing stuff. Uh we got GTA 6 news in that, we got Call of Duty stuff, we got a lot of stuff. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.